Hi guys, how's it going? Dara here, jumping on live after five to talk about BER ratings um, and how they can benefit you, whether if you're a buyer or a seller. So a BER is a building energy um, rating and improving a BER is both good for buyers and sellers. So if you're a buyer, it increases the comfort of your home, it reduces energy bills and reduces carbon emissions. If you're a seller, um, if you increase your BER, you can make your house more valuable so this is often done before people go to market so they can get the maximum profit possible. Um, if you're looking for a BER, you're going to want to aim for a B2 rating. This rating will give you the most energy savings for money you invest. Um, when getting a BER assessor advice, you will receive an advisory report. Um, this report will show you how to increase your BER rating. Um, the more you increase it, the more likely you have for having a, a, a bigger profit in your home or just a comfy home if you're living in it. Um, so this help information will help you understand which upgrades would benefit you most, um, what solutions are best for your home, uh, what home energy grants are available to you and how long a major renovation will take. Um, so the way I look at it is there's a lot of regulations and documents that you'd get if you have a BER and you're going to want to keep track of all these as you progress and um, this will be kept along all the way. Um, so things that you can do to increase your BER is you can insulate your home. This this comes in the form of your attic or um, let's say your walls to keep heat in. This is often called fabric first. This is to accentuate the idea that before anything else is done, you need to insulate your home. Um, secondly, you need to have a proper heating system. Um, this means replacing old inefficient boilers, um, maybe with a heat pump that uses renewable energy. This is very good for a BER rating. Um, and then using other renewables such as solar panels, um, moving forward with um, efficiency and stuff as well. Um, if you can't afford these things, because they can be expensive to redo in your home, there's other little things you can do as well. Um, I would say draft proofing is one of the main ones. So this is making sure your house is, is airtight. Um, you're talking fitted windows, doors, loft and attic hatches. Um, this will increase thermal comfort, um, reduce heat loss, noise insulation, and it will re reduce dust ingress also. Um, another way is lighting is not too cost effective. So correct lighting levels are um, essential for visual comfort, safety and aesthetic also. But not only that, but they maximize the use of, let's say, daylight um, before you turn on your electric lighting. This would mean that uh, you're, you're saving money there too. Um, and then we'd, I'd also recommend a jacket for your, your hot water uh, cylinder. This is kind of essential as well if you want to maintain that heat in your home. I would also say on the topic of hot water cylinders that you should keep it at 65 degrees so you don't want to waste energy on overheating water. That's a, a big thing. Um, and then ventilation is another big one. Um, so this is stopping of, of mold and... Um, and condensation over condensation as well so if you have proper ventilation this won't happen and if you don't have proper if you do have proper ventilation obviously it will increase on your BER and um, it's also worth noting that there are various grants available as well to help you kind of upgrade your home to be more efficient and um, there's the individual energy upgrade grant the one top shop service grant and then the fully funded energy upgrade grant and um, these are all available on sea.ie to view and um, your house might be eligible depending on how old it is how new it is um, all these certain things uh, but the main thing i would say is get your ber checked get it upgraded see what you can do to upgrade it whether you're selling you're buying you're you're staying at home even it's it's always important to make sure your ber is up to scratch so that's me thanks guys <laughs>